Hello and welcome. So today I have a very special video for you because we're going to be doing a detailed review of the latest launch from Initio Parfums and that is Narcotic Delight. This is a fragrance house that I absolutely love. Initio Parfums is actually one of my top five favorite fragrance houses. So obviously this launch is very special for me. I picked up Narcotic Delight when it first launched and I've had the opportunity to use it for three full days just to test it. And I've taken my time because I wanted to make sure that I was really able to provide you with as much information about this fragrance as possible. So today I am going to be doing, as I said before, a detailed review of this new fragrance. But in addition to that, I'm also going to be comparing it to my favorite fragrance from Initio, which is Side Effect, because there's been quite a bit of rumbling around, are they kind of like the same or are they just very, very similar? So I just wanted to also share with you my findings while testing them side by side. But before we jump right in, if this is your first time here, I'm Arahi, and in this channel we love to talk about fragrances because we love to smell fabulous at all times. I upload videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, and sometimes I even give you a bonus video for the week. If that sounds like the type of content that you're interested in and like a good plan, then please consider subscribing Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget, leave a comment. Let's go. So Narcotic Delight was launched in 2024 and it is part of the Carnal Blends collection, which by the way, is the same collection that Side Effect, which it's being compared to, is also a part of. Since picking it up, I've had the opportunity to test it for three full days and in doing so, I've also tested it on paper and on skin. I also had an extra half day of testing where I compared it side by side to side effect. So let's take a look at the notes of this beauty. So I just want to start by saying guys that to me, this is not really a cherry fragrance because when I first heard about this fragrance and I went into a couple of forums, it just seemed like it was being discussed as Initio's cherry fragrance. But I'm going to give you a lot of detail around the journey and around the notes and my experience using it. But I did want to start by saying that to me, this is really not a cherry fragrance. This is a fragrance where the cherry plays a supporting role along with other very key notes. But let's talk more about it. So before I give you details of the olfactory journey that this fragrance takes me on, let me give you a little bit of information about what I pick up from it. So this fragrance is quite, quite sweet. Not cloying or obnoxious or excessively sweet. It has quite a bit of tobacco. And of course, there is the note of cherry. You can pick up on the cherry and the cherry in this fragrance is juicy. It's very, very juicy. It's almost like you can almost taste it because it's so juicy. You also get quite a bit of vanilla, but it's not like the vanilla plays a dominant role in any phase of the olfactory journey, nor at dry down, at least not to my nose but we're gonna talk more about that during the olfactory journey. I also find this fragrance to be woody, not very woody. The woodiness is always in the background. It's warm and spicy, but curiously enough, it's also like fresh, which is really, really interesting. So let's talk about the journey I get from this fragrance because Oh my goodness. So let me just start by saying, to my nose, the dominant notes of this fragrance are really tobacco and cognac. Yeah, definitely tobacco and cognac. This fragrance opens up quite spicy with a beautiful combination of black and pink pepper. And you also pick up on a very juicy cherry. 
and the cherry is quite present in that first burst of the opening. But then immediately, it almost starts to go into the background, giving way for the black and pink pepper to be a bit more dominant in the opening. But it's not that they're really dominant notes. No, they're just doing their part in opening the fragrance and giving way for the next phase of the olfactory journey, which is really going to bring forth our stars. As the cherry fades and the sweetness and juiciness also starts to fade, it gives way to the note of cognac. And please be ready for this cognac because this is truly a dominant note. You can't miss not just the booziness that it brings to the table, but the fact that it is cognac. Unapologetically dominant cognac. Right along with that dominant cognac, you start to pick up on little hints of tobacco. But this tobacco, guys, this tobacco is like the tobacco that you find in a very, very high-end cigar. So let me just stop right there and ask you a question. Have you ever been to a cigar bar? Because if you have, then you'll understand everything that I'm going to say next. The tobacco that you find in this fragrance is like that upscale tobacco that is used in a very, very upscale cigar. It's a tobacco that has been infused with vanilla. So when you actually smoke that cigar, you're going to get like the taste of tobacco with like a tad sweet vanilla essence to it. Then as you are enjoying this exquisite cigar, you are having it with the most precious glass of cognac. And I say all this to let you know that at the dry down, what I get is the most beautiful blend of that tobacco infused with vanilla and that cognac that brings everything to that boozy, sweet, magnificent scent. Truly, do not be mistaken, at least to my nose, the stars of this fragrance are truly that cognac and that tobacco. I have about, I think, 11 bottles from Initio now, and I have to tell you, there is nothing like this fragrance in my collection. And yeah, that may be a bit of a spoiler to the part of the video where I compare it to Side Effect, but there is quite a bit to say there too. But I can promise you, because I've had my nose on just about pretty much every Initio fragrance, that this is truly different and unique within their collection, especially of the Carnal Blends. This fragrance, and I'm sure this will not come as a surprise if you're familiar with Initio fragrances, is truly a beast. The performance is stellar. I get 10 plus hours from this fragrance and I get a very, very strong projection during the first three hours, after which it becomes a very strong scent bubble. This fragrance on my skin never really quite becomes a skin scent. It has a very strong sillage that will leave an incredible trail. And wherever you take this fragrance, people will know that you've arrived. This is a bold statement making fragrance. This is a fragrance that I would pull for any season, but not for any occasion. This is a fragrance that I will definitely reserve for special occasions. Not necessarily formal, like just black tie events, but just for any special occasion. I really don't see myself wearing this fragrance like to the office or just to run errands. So this is not a fragrance that I would use for casual occasions. This is definitely one that I would limit to semi-formal and formal kind of events. Is this a fragrance that I would use for date night? Absolutely. And when I talk more about the feel of this fragrance, you'll understand what I mean. This is truly a unisex fragrance. To my nose, there is, yeah, there is no lean to this fragrance. It does not lean feminine or male. This is truly a unisex fragrance. This is also a fragrance that I would not recommend that you blind buy. 
please try to get yourself a sample or a decant, you know, because I could tell you, well, find yourself a store, you know, with a counter that carries Initio fragrances, but then, you know, you'll only spray it and sniff it and then you'll probably love it and want to take it with you. But what I really recommend is that you get yourself a sample and you give yourself the opportunity to test it on skin for a full day. Then you'll know if this is a gem that you want to add to your collection. This fragrance is really, for me, to my nose, all about sensuality. This would be the one word that I would use to describe this fragrance. Sensual. This is the type of fragrance that I would pull when I am planning to attend a special event. Any type of special event, whether it be an outing with your loved one, whether it be a formal occasion, any type of event that you would consider special and not a regular or routine type of event. And I can tell you that the feel of this fragrance speaks to when you put it on for those special occasions, if you know what I mean. Your goal is to look and feel beautifully sensual and alluring. You know, kind of like calm, cool, and collected, but low-key boss attitude. Yes, this is the fragrance. I can see this individual wearing this fragrance Oh, with a beautiful sleek black suit or all black attire. But is this the fragrance that I would use with a little black dress? Not necessarily. There's just something so bold and statement making about this fragrance. This is not like a little dress or little anything type of fragrance. This is when you have that black outfit that is beautifully tailored. It is sleek and you know you look great in it. So you are owning the outfit and the fragrance that finishes the entire look. And if you're a female, your lipstick is red for sure. So now let's talk a little bit about the comparison between Narcotic Delight and Side Effect. So let me start by saying, Obviously, they are both part of the same collection, the Carnal Blends collection. So the core vision behind each fragrance is the same because they're part of the same collection. These fragrances are both boozy with vanilla and they're sweet. But let's talk a little bit about just that boozy quality, right? So Side Effect has a booziness that comes from rum and Narcotic Delight has a booziness that comes from cognac. That alone lends for quite a bit of a difference. If you've had rum and you've had cognac, then you automatically know that the kind of booziness is a bit different. Not that one is better than the other, it's just that there's a bit of a difference there. The other marked difference that I pick up on my nose when I tested both of these side by side is that Narcotic Delight is a bit spicier than Side Effect. Side Effect has the note of saffron and Narcotic Delight has a beautiful blend of pink and black pepper. So when you sniff both fragrances, you will pick up on that spiciness at opening for sure, but you are going to get quite a strong spicy presence with Narcotic Delight in the opening versus side effect where you get like that airy saffron that then transitions as part of the olfactory journey to a bit more spicy, dense type of saffron. So now let's talk about the feel with both fragrances. So when it comes to side effect, and I'll start with that one since I just talked a little bit about the feel with Narcotic Delight. Side effect is really also a very central fragrance, but please note that when it comes to the Carnal Blends collection, my experience has been that most of those fragrances are pretty sensual and alluring. But I can tell you that there is, to my nose, a marked difference between these two fragrances as it relates to the sensual feel. With Side Effect, you get a smoothness. It's almost like 
a demure type of sultriness, if you know what I mean. Um, she's not in your face and letting you know that she is that sultry vixen. But with narcotic delight, oh no, she's in your face. She knows that she is sexy and sultry and that she exudes sensuality and that she's alluring. I also have to tell you that with side effect, I get like this leathery vibe. Not that I'm saying that there's a strong note of leather because there isn't. It's more like a soft suede kind of feel when it comes to this fragrance, which lends to that smoothness that I talked about before. Again, there is a smooth sultriness in side effect that is quite emphasized in Narcotic Delight. I don't think that there's really much of a side-by-side -side similarity to these fragrances. To my nose, they do smell different. They do give similar vibes and feel, but the feel is definitely different. And the more you experience Narcotic Delight, the more you will realize that this is quite a bold and statement-making fragrance. So in closing, guys, I do want to share that to me, Narcotic Delight is yet another home run coming out of the Initio Parfums fragrance house. This fragrance is truly exceptional. It has incredible performance. It really gives you an olfactory journey that is extremely unique within their entire range of fragrances. But I will tell you, if you were looking forward to trying or picking up this fragrance because you think that it is a cherry-centric fragrance, no, this is not whatsoever a cherry-centric fragrance. This is a fragrance where the dominant notes, at least to my nose, are definitely tobacco and cognac with touches of vanilla. This is a fragrance that will make you feel vibrant, alive, alluring, sensual. Oh my goodness, this is just a delight to experience. Needless to say, I give this fragrance a 10 out of 10, and if I could give it a 20 out of 10, I would. This is really a special fragrance. It does have a high price point, but I can tell you it is so worth it. All right, guys, so we've reached the end of today's video, and I just wanted to come on here and share my thoughts around this incredible launch from Initio. I am really so, so happy that I added it to my collection. But you know, guys, Initio has truly never disappointed me. So I'm not quite surprised. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging with me today. And as always, I will see you in the next video.